Okay, team, Mick from Total Performance Center. Yeah, today we're going to talk about the deadlift and um, just how to do it correctly, different versions, and one of the common um, thoughts is of whether you should always go all the way to the ground or not. And um, you're probably thinking to yourself, what the hell has Mick got on his head up there? You see the blue, the, sorry, the black band there? And you can probably see this blue band here. And you might be thinking to yourself, geez, Mick looks like he's got a stick shaft up his butt today. Well, not quite my butt, but I do have a stick taped to my back. So I've got a stick to the back of my head here and to my hips. And what I'm going to demonstrate is, well, we do this quite often in the race of our class. We do our good mornings. Trying to keep three points of contact, back of the head, and then the mid-back, working through that range there. So how does that translate to a normal workout? Well, let's have a look at the deadlift. Position. Okay, up tall. See how the lower back, see how the stick never leaves my back at all. What I'm talking about is, quite often, you see people get to about here, and then they break at the back. They start to bend, all right? So that's a good indication that we've lost range of the hips. So some people, they just can't get that range through flexibility, mobility work. Doesn't matter what they do, they can't get that range in the hips that they need to. So if you can't get it, don't go there, all right? Because if under load, you get to about here, and then you're getting your range, you're bending your lower back. Well, over time, that's going to start to put damage in the discs, all right? When we're talking deadlifting, it's a great way to strengthen your back up. But if you're constantly bending through that lumbar region, all it's going to do is work, um, not harden, but just damage those discs in between your lumbar vertebrae. And over time is going to cause damage, cause damage, which is the exact opposite to what you should be doing. So I'm just going to take this off now. So what what we um, encourage people to do at uh, Total Performance Center, if you don't have the range of motion, we we obviously encourage people to encourage people to work on their flexibility. We do guided stretching and that sort of stuff as well. But some people, their hips are just mega tight and they're never gonna be able to get there into that big hip flex with a big straight flat back or a nice straight back. But we still want them lifting and we want, but we want them to be able to control that low back. So, we raise the bar to where they can control it. So let's get this back on. So we've raised the, the bar up towards you, about five to six centimeters there. And what that does is it decreases the hip flexion, so it puts less load on your lower back. Some people use what they call a trap bar or a hex bar for the deadlift, that lifts you up as well. Just, as, just another tool to get the same desired result. Some people say you need to deadlift off the ground to the ground again for it to be deadlifting. Rubbish. If you're not a power lifter, you don't need to do it. We can continually work to improve our range of motion through our hips. 100% we should be doing that. Because the better your range of motion in the hips, the better you can support good hip flexion and extension, the less load we're going to be able to put through our lower back. We'll have to put through our lower back. So, if you want to deadlift, you want to take a little bit of load off your lower back, Try raising the bar a little bit and see what um see how you go. 
Nick from Total Performance Centre, guys. Have a great week. Stay safe, stay healthy, and um, talk to you soon.